Hi guys, so let's look at this question. A box contains only 20 cent okay, and 50 cent coins. The ratio of the number of 20 cent coins to the number of 50 cent coins was okay, 3 is to 2. So this is what we know. 15 20 cent coins were taken out and replaced with 50 cent coins of the same value. Okay, so we need to find out what is the value of the 15 20 cent coins. Okay, and we do that by taking 15 times 20, which gives us 300 cents. Then after doing that, we will need to find the number of 50 cent coins that this can be exchanged for. Okay, so we do that by taking 300 divided by 50, and this would give us 6. So in other words, we know that 15 20 cent coins were actually taken out and exchanged with 6 50 cent coins over here. Alright? Okay, moving on, we also know that the ratio of the number of 20 cent coins to the number of 50 cent coins then became 19 is to 18. Okay, so this is what we know. And we're supposed to find how much money there was in the box. So in order to find out the amount of money that was in the box, we will first need to find the number of 20 cent coins and the number of 50 cent coins in the box, correct? Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Okay, we make use of what we know. Okay, what do we know? We know that we have 3 units of 20 cent coins in the beginning, correct? And then we take out 15 of them. Okay, and this leaves us with 19 parts of 20 cent coins in the end. And then the same thing, we have 2 units okay, of 50 cent coins in the beginning. And because we exchange them for another 6 50 cent coins, right? So after adding in the 6 extra 50 cent coins, we would end up with 18 parts of 50 cent coins. So far so good. Okay, some of you might be wondering why do I want to use units and parts? Okay, instead of units and units. The reason is because the value of one unit here would be different from one unit here. So if we were to give them the same name, right, we would actually be confused. So in order to make things clearer, we would use units to represent this in the beginning and we use parts to represent all this in the end. Okay, okay. now that we have two equations over here, right, what should our next step be? Okay, in order to solve these two equations, we will either need to make the number of units the same or the number of parts the same. So for this case, we will actually choose to make the number of units the same. Okay, because it's easier to find a common multiple between 3 and 2, okay, which is 6, right, instead of 19 and 18, which gives us a far larger number. Okay, and this might lead to more mistakes. So let's keep things simple. In order to change these 3 units to 6 units, what we do is to multiply it by 2, correct? So 3 times 2 would give us 6 units. 15 times 2 would give us 30. 19 times 2 would give us 38. Alright, and then for the other equation over here, okay, how do we make 2 units into 6 units? Okay, we have to multiply it by 3. When we take 2 times 3, we have 6 units or so. Then 6 times 3 will give us 18. And 18 times 3 will give us 54 parts. Okay, so far so good. What do we do next? Since the number of units now are equal, we can compare the two equations. Okay, and by comparing, we should be able to find that 16 parts is actually 30 plus 18. Okay, which gives us 48. We can easily move on to the next step. To find one part, okay, by taking 48 divided by 16, which gives us 3. Okay, so now we know that one part actually represents 3 coins. Okay, so this is not the value, this is the number of coins. Hence, in order to find the amount of money in the box, all we need to do is to find the number of coins. Okay, in this case, we find the number of 20 cent coins in the end, right? Okay, by taking 19 times 3, and then we multiply it by the value. Okay, so the value will be 20 cents. Then we do the same thing for 50 cent coins. Okay, we take 18 parts here times 3 to find the number of 50 cent coins. And then we multiply it by the value, which is 50 cents. Okay, then once we have these two parts, right, we need to add them together. After we have done all the working, you should be able to get a value of $38.40, which is the answer. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible, alright? Okay, bye!